Do not praise your own faith exclusively so that you disbelieve all the rest. If you do this you will miss much good. Nay, you will miss the whole truth of the matter. God, the omniscient and the omnipresent, cannot be confined to any one creed, for he says in the Quran, wheresoever ye turn, there is the face of Allah. Everybody praises what he knows. His God is his own creature, and in praising it, he praises himself. Which he would not do if he were just, for his dislike is based on ignorance. The ignorant one does not see his ignorance as he basks in its darkness, nor does the knowledgeable one see his own knowledge, for he basks in its light. How can the heart travel to God, when it is chained by its desires? I believe in the religion of love, whatever direction its caravans may take, for love is my religion and my faith. Beware of confining yourself to a particular belief and denying all else, for much good would elude you, indeed, the knowledge of reality would elude you. Be in yourself a matter for all forms of belief, for God is too vast and tremendous to be restricted to one belief rather than another. My heart can take on any form. A meadow for gazelles. A cloister for monks. For the idols, sacred ground. Kaaba for the circling pilgrim. The tables of the Torah. The scrolls of the Quran. My creed is love, wherever its caravan turns along the way. That is my belief. My faith. If you find it complicated to answer someone's question, do not answer it, for his container is already full and does not have room for the answer. When you know yourself, your Inus vanishes and you know that you and Allah are one and the same. Whoever builds his faith exclusively on demonstrative proofs and deductive arguments, builds a faith on which it is impossible to rely. For he is affected by the negativities of constant objections. Certainty al does not derive from the evidences of the mind but pours out from the depths of the heart. I am in love with no other than myself, and my very separation is my union. I am my beloved and my lover, I am my knight and my maiden. Your personal nature seeks its paradise. There was a time, when I blamed my companion if his religion did not resemble mine. Now, however, my heart accepts every form, love alone is my religion. Oh, Lord, nourish me not with love, but with the desire for love. My heart has become capable of every form, it is a pasture for gazelles and a monastery for Christian monks, and the pilgrims Kaaba, and the tablets of the Torah, and the book of the Koran. I follow the religion of love, whatever way love's camel takes, that is my religion, my faith. I follow the way of love, and where love's caravan takes its path. There is my religion, my faith. You are my sight, so have faith. You are my face, so veil yourself. While you are alive, your worldly self is like a collector of benefits from Allah's bounties, which come to you from myriads of hands. None but God is loved in the existent things. It is he who is manifest within every beloved to the eye of every lover, and there is nothing in the existent realm that is not a lover. Each person is oriented toward a quest for his personal invisible guide, or... Dot dot. He entrusts himself to the collective, magisterial authority as the intermediary between himself and revelation. My heart can be pasture for deer and a convent for monks, a temple for idols and a kaaba for the pilgrims. It is both the tables of the Torah and the Koran. It professes the religion of love wherever its caravans are heading. Love is my law. Love is my faith. My creed is love. Wherever its caravan turns along the way. That is my belief. Don't waste the opportunity that we present. Watch the next video.